Hello everybody. So I am out of town right now. However, I am sitting here with my roommate. She's currently just sitting there. And I was like, you know what would be the best thing to do? Talk about the cringiest article while she's sitting behind the camera, having to listen to me have this conversation right at this very moment. The story today is about Politico publishing an article. And I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be a substantive video. I'm just gonna throw it out to you guys. It's titled, Joe Biden, sex symbol? Question mark. Now I'm just gonna read you guys a couple of little paragraphs and I think, I think we get the point. So here's what it says. He's number two on the ticket, but number one in our hearts. Women born before the baby boom generation seem to have a collective crush on a handsome vice presidential candidate with piercing blue, <laughs> fuck, okay. <laughs> with piercing blue eyes and a wide smile who likes to talk about government benefits for seniors. No, not Paul Ryan. Joe Biden's bringing sexy back to the Medicare eligible set, and that could be valuable for a president who trails Republican rival Mitt Romney with women of a certain age despite having a wide advantage with their 18 to 65 year old counterparts. The vice president who turned 70 in November has been on a tour of diners and delis in swing states, charming as many white blue collar voters and their mothers as possible. He kissed women on the lips and the cheek he pulled a biker chick so close to him at one pit stop that she appeared to be sitting on his lap in photos. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so creepy. <laughs> and he's talked about the acrobatic acts of cheerleaders in terms that would draw at least a PG-13 rating in Hollywood. I love this. This is so bad. So to provide a little bit more context here, there's a couple dozen sexual assault allegations against Joe Biden right now. So the mainstream media, their greatest idea, at least with Politico and this individual in particular, their greatest idea was let's flip the script and make it look attractive. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep it at that. Joe Biden wouldn't let Hillary go as they met on the tarmac at Scranton Airport. Nothing to see here, right? Wrong, because the vice president wouldn't unhand Hillary for almost 16 seconds. Notice how many times she tries to tap out. She lets it go, he does not. Uh, she tap out. Nope, she's just, uh, no, he's still holding on. Okay, second tap out, for God's sake, Joe, you gotta let go.